Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the garden. Sunny in Cambridgeshire. Long awaited for. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've had a few additions since we last saw you. A few move arounds, a few pulling out. So, yeah, shall we show you? If you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> if not, bye. If, if not, bye, yeah. Come on, shall we start in a different place? We always start here. Go on then, I'll follow you. Yeah, let's start over here and we'll do the patio last. Oh, oh. okay. Shall we start with the newest addition? The arch. <laughs> The arch, yeah, that's the, new. Should we, should we say how this came about? Yeah. Yeah, so I find things in my eBay basket on a regular basis, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and one morning I found this in the basket, so of course I bought it like I always do. And I said to somebody, I've bought what's in the basket. What do you mean? I didn't put anything in the basket. Somebody meant to press watch. <laughs> I did. And it ended up in the basket, so we bought an arch. So here it is. We didn't yeah. know where to put it. No. <laughs> so it's there. And to be honest, it's a bit flimsy. It's probably not what we would have bought. We would have probably tried to find some of the rusty iron work that we've got all around the garden, wouldn't we? But it came, it's here, and that's it. Yeah, and once it's got all this stuff yes, grown over it. you chose. Melimosa, yeah. Melimosa clematis, it's yeah. It's a beautiful clematis. Oh, there you go. Wind's blowing it. So there you go, it's supposed to be fast growing. Many most is supposed to be a right animal, but um, at the moment, it's been in a week, it doesn't look like it's done an awful lot, but eh, time will tell. Oh, it has, it's got new shoots. Right. So the theory is. Yeah, this has got new growth. Right. So the theory is, yeah, it grows over this and hides it, and it doesn't matter how crap it looks. No. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Anyway, new so they're only babies at the moment, and I yeah. remembered to put the ball on for you this time. All right. So, <laughs> how lovely ball. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem, oh look, reflection. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem with buying this is the washing line. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It didn't. Uh, it wasn't an easy job, was it? I had to move it, so and the peg that was the peg that was in there had been in many years. So yeah, I struggled. Anyway, go on, carry on. Okay. So let's start with this bed, shall we? Looping bed. So the one at this end, we've lost. And I've got a feeling that was the yellow one, which is a shame, but there you go. These are doing okay. I have thrown some seeds. I don't know whether they'll come. That's got lily bulbs in it, um, but they were for my birthday in December. So whether they grow, I don't know. But the lavender, I've cut right back because it had turned gray and horrible, but it is coming back to life, isn't it? Mm, it's supposed to come back hardly. Yeah. And we've yeah. got a, a tree in blossom, which is always nice yeah. until it all drops off. And it's um, had the most blossom this year, isn't it, that we've seen? Yeah, we have no idea what it is. We thought it was a cherry because it does produce... An ornamental kind of, cherry. Yeah, just produce kind of these little cherry things, but yeah. never but seems to equate to anything. No, it doesn't have fruit, does it? Well, it's never had fruit. No, but the blossom's always blowing off before anything's developed. Um, but we're not a, well. We had some wind lately, but not that bad. So it's it's doing okay at the moment. It is. Maybe this year it'll actually produce something. But... You never know. I just think it's ornamental. Right, you've got to step over my grass seed because oh. I've put grass seed down right. all around the edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you That's not very straight, is it? I'm going to have to sort that out when we've finished. But surely it's better at an angle because it dangles more. Oh, maybe. It's yeah. the angle of the dangle. Yeah. So, right, forgive me if I can't remember the names of plants. For a change. For a change. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. If it's not there, it's not there. But that's a black lace, the twiggy thing in the corner. And it was a huge tree, higher than the fence, beautiful pink flowers. But everything dropped off one year. What, two years ago was it? Two, three years ago, everything just dropped off. Leaves, flowers and everything. And I was left with a twig. So I cut it back to the floor and it's growing. But I came out a couple of weeks ago and I couldn't see it. And the crocosmia had come up and drowned it. So that's come out and gone. <laughs> I weren't having that. So yeah, but everything seems to be coming back to life. I've got dahlias under there, but there's no sign of life there yet for those. 
yeah, or the Cosmos. No, not Cosmos. Yeah, chocolate Cosmos in there. This looks like it might be dying. I'm not surprised with all the wet. We have had a lot of rain, haven't we? But mm. I think we said that last time, didn't we, about the flood mm. here. Yeah, it holds it was water just, wet. just here. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Even though I put drainage in a few years ago. Yeah. Oh, now what are those flowers called? Do you know, when we're not filming, I know them. Da -da, it's there. <laughs> but I can't remember. But they're still in flower. They're one of the first flowers to come up in the garden. Hellebores. There you go. And that ground covering's taken over. Yeah, I think that's a duga, but if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will put me in the right, put me mm. right. Wow, that a still bee has doubled in size in the last week. This one, the pink one. Mm -hmm. I've just bought a white one, look and put it next to it. And I think I may have to move it. <laughs> if that's gonna grow like that, wow. So this has just had a haircut to try to make it more spherical. Mm. Yeah. We've got a Christmas tree. Yeah. That's one of the new additions, isn't it? And the still be. Bleeding heart as well, that's a new addition. However, look in front of it. Ah. Hosta. A hosta that I didn't realise was there is coming up, so I may that's, well. That's have the problem to... with hostas. I've just been bitten, look. Lovely. <laughs> that's the problem with hostas, you don't know where the hell they no, are. <laughs> no, no. That hosta at the back is a new one. So is the um, lemon cypress behind it. Well, that's well, with the Japanese is... maple. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was just a twig last month, wasn't it? Look at it now. Stunning. Yep. Absolutely love it. And my little bush has gone wild. Yeah, and I've bought another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Pittosporum, that's what it is. And there's, um, I think it's called Pittosporum Gem. Oh, it's down there, look. Golden Ball, Pittosporum Golden Ball. There you go. Ooh. So that's new. Um, and that's new as well. I think that's a cystus. Yeah, a cystus. Apparently you cost a tenner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is now coming up, another hosta. There was some hostas next to the shed there, but yeah, they never there came back. Just one year just didn't come back. They never came back again. What's, um, what's happened to the shed? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's a cat or something coming off the roof. I'll get the okay. cat out and wash them. The cat <laughs> jumping off the roof and then right. using its feet to push it. I'm guessing, I don't know, but it wouldn't be anything else, would it? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> now then, the azalea. Can you see the pink buds? So that shouldn't be long. Ooh, that needs a wash. It does need a wash, but <laughs> it's been, the trees. It's, it's been used for target practice. Now I've moved the Japanese maple from the patio because I believe it was getting too much afternoon sun and it did kill a Japanese maple last year and that was over there. So I've moved it and we'll see how it goes. And the dead olive tree is and doing well. the dead well. olive tree is growing again, lots and lots of new shoots. Yeah. And the eucalyptus is just, well... It's, we keep saying we've got to do something with that. It's but too it's far good. bent now. We maybe need to cut it off where it's bent. But you can cut them at the base and they'll grow again. So it, that might be worth doing. Mm, it's just kind of gone to the sun. <laughs> yeah. But look at the hydrangea. That's the one that I bought that was practically dead. And I now know I've got to move the fig tree because they like to be on a south-facing wall oh. for the amount of sun it needs to produce the fruit. So mm -hmm. that's going to have to go under the clock. On the patio. Your monkey puzzle, monkey going puzzle crazy. tree <laughs> has grown quite a bit, hasn't it? It's getting bigger. I know the slow growers, but it is getting it's yeah. getting wider, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's going to take over here soon. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. like the bamboos did. They were twigs as well. Yeah, they were we twigs when we put them in. Look at them. They have got to be worth some money now. I think I'm going to have to water all this, look, because the grass seed is bone dry. And I think I remember you saying we've got some offcuts from the olive because yes, um, the people who sell them charge an absolute fortune, so... We're going to have a go at growing them. Yeah, yeah. If you want some. Watch the YouTube <laughs> clip to see what to do. And we're doing it. It's right. on the windowsill. So, yeah. So, there's another hosta at the back. That's come out beautiful, look. In there. Mm. 
and the geraniums <laughs> from last year, so they survived the winter. Yeah, it wasn't that bad to be honest. We only had a few days frost. No, we had to cut quite a bit off the peach tree because it died. There's a stem at the bottom, look, that completely gone. So we lost half of it basically, and it's got what three bits, bits of blot of blossom. But I think we've only ever had one peach, hasn't it? And the bird's got it. Yeah. So if it doesn't produce this year, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The viner viburnum flowered this year for the first time, just there. So that, that was a treat. Still got a few whites on there. Oh, yeah, it has. And these didn't produce flowers or anything. Oh, there's a bud there, but it's there's nothing in it. It's empty, soft. Mm. So I think I'm just going to dig those up and give those up as a bad job. They didn't do very well at so all in the garden. It looks like this is seeding as well. Yeah, oh, that little seed pots. comes into feathers. <laughs> it's a rusty old iron. <laughs> in there, there was supposed to be some white irises, but they haven't grown either. Mm. So yeah, it's very weird this garden. It's very dry at the back oh, it's, because it's well, there's a lot of trees at the back. So that's really dry. Around here there's a lot of trees as well. As you can see yeah. great big one there and big conifer over there. So this gets really dry. And then the other side, pan round, over there is attached to, uh, well, another piece of grass basically. And it's just a, a swamp. <laughs> but there is drainage all under here um, that I put in many years ago, but it doesn't seem to do an awful lot. Ah, so under here is arum lilies, but obviously they're not showing signs yet. It's a bit early for those. Blue irises have come up. This, I think it's called pulmonaria. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. But I split it last year, and there's a bit over there by the olive tree, and there's another bit over there somewhere. So that did well. I had to move this the other day because it was right in there and you couldn't see it. There's probably a hosta there as well. Oh, there might be, yeah. <laughs> but look, there are things coming up and I've no idea what they are. <laughs> well, that looks like lavender. Okay. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah. The right. rose tree that was a dwarf one, wasn't it? Mm. What's the, uh, the big bush over there? That, that's your daisies that oh, you wanted. I thought yeah. they'd all gone. No, that was like a little clump like that when we bought it mm. in a little tiny pot. And that's what we've got now. But what, mm, three or four years ago now? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. That's why I thought it had gone. Yeah, well it was been moved because it was over there. Mm. Yeah. This is quite striking. Yeah, again, I don't know what it's called. That is that bugle or something? I don't know. No, I it's... don't know. It's got a lot of colours in it. Yeah, it's pretty. Blues and reds and greens and all sorts. Yeah. Yeah, all sorts. It's all the yellowy, you know. Yeah, the there, leaves are variegated, aren't they? That's what, that's the word. That's I the word you're looking variegated. for. Variegated. Yeah. Yeah. There's the word for today. Yeah. Repeat Pen after three. One, two, three. Variegated. <laughs> Penstemon's coming up. And that behind it, I don't know what that is. Dad gave me a cutting and that's taken off. It's a bit like a heather. And there's another one behind the um, olive tree. New clematis, because the one that grew up the tree was no good anymore. That rose there doesn't look like it's going to do any good either, does it? It's got some rot on the leaves yeah, it on has. Lots of it. Yeah. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Those tulips didn't do anything either, so they're going. Spirea's looking good. And the hydrangea. Glam Rock, that one's called. Which is why I bought it, because it's got bronzy leaves and beautiful pinky purple flowers, which is lovely. These were tiny little plugs when we put them in. And they've gone crazy. <laughs> This is all coming out now. So this is if that's been snapped off, look. I bet a bird tried to land on it or something. Got it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm on the seeds. 
down here I've put some bulbs. Don't ask me which bulbs, I can't remember. <laughs> I think that is, an, I can't say it, anemones? Anemones? That's close enough. <laughs> yeah, I think that's anemones. That's the Chinese plumbago. So is that. That's a geon and I think it's an orange one. Pigeons are flying around. We just don't know what this is, do we? But it doesn't flower or anything, it just gets bigger. It's like a nettle. Yeah. I thought it was a lemon balm or something. But it doesn't smell of anything. Oh look, I missed that, it needs to go. Tree. There's a tree here then. That's um not that one, this one in front of you. This one, <laughs> this is a flamingo tree and it was a round pom pom on the top. Find the camera. Sorry. But <laughs> Half of it died. I'm doing well at killing half plants. Yeah, so I'll have to do things by half. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yeah, and this is a hebe, but again, mm -hmm. it's it's probably too big for him there now. And that, well, you just can't kill it. I no. got the chainsaw to it last year. As you can see, I hacked it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that needed it though. Well, it'll come back bigger and better. Yeah. Always does. Um, I think that, is that a cherry or something, crazy or crab apple? It, it produces something, doesn't it? That yeah. Drops through the Oh, yeah, the I ground. think it's cherries because I eat them. All oh, right. Yeah. So it hasn't poisoned me yet. Oh. Oh, watch it. <laughs> yeah. Oi, you get off. What are you Trouble? doing? <laughs> and these twigs Dad gave us from his hibiscus. And we're hoping they're going to be a different colour. This is a pink one. And Dad's that got... works well on camera going, this is a pink one. <laughs> I was pointing, you weren't looking. This one's a pink one. But Dad ordered a special one that was three plants and the trunk is twist it's twisted them all up together. Mm -hmm. So his tree produces three different colour flowers. And they were coming up near it and he sorted them for me and they seemed to be doing all right. In that pot was the poor Japanese maple I managed to kill because it was in full sun. So I need something else for that pot. Ted, what are you doing? <laughs> and now we're on to the patio. So all I've done is put a couple of small, well they were small when I put them in, um, violas. But look, whatever was in here last year is coming back. And they look like the same leaves, so it might be different colour violas. Yeah, We've had flowers have. off this already, so it's doing really well. Again, yeah, we need to get the brush broom out. And then on the patio, I've had a move around with some of the pots and tubs and things. It just, I wasn't happy with it. Dahlias. This isn't. This is a hebe cutting that I took when we were out walking the dog. But yeah, dahlias are coming up. There's a dahlia coming up. These aren't, these are weeds. In there is arum lily, I think. Yeah, arum lilies. Because I split it, it was so big I split it. Half's in the garden, half's back in the pot. Lilac will be in flower very, very soon. You bought me that last, last spring. Didn't you? Cool. Yeah. Lost track of what I bought you. Yeah. So that's <laughs> Just a bank of reeds, me. Yeah. <laughs> and then some more dahlias. These I planted this year. Those ones are last year's ones. These are new ones. And this I'm trying to shape. I can't decide if I'm going to go square or round. But I don't know. That's a project for the future. <laughs> This is new, just to fill a space in this pot. Chrysanthemums, they've not died, but they've never flowered. But again, there's something growing here, look, that was in last year. So we couldn't have had a very bad winter, really. And in front, look. <laughs> and we do have flowers on this geranium, look. So there's one here, buds buds and that's last year's geranium 
And whatever these are, were what was in last year, coming back. Well, I am going to do the hanging baskets. I am going to put more in them. So, but look at this, this is coming. Beautiful. And look at the tulips. I love tulips. Now this is a story. I didn't buy red and yellow tulips. My colour scheme was pinks and purples, whites and creams. So where these have come from, they must have been in the wrong bag or something. I don't know what these are, they're not opened yet. And these were supposed to be, the bag was, bag said it was um, the white ones with the green markings. So that's been fun. <laughs> But hey, not quite what you bought. Not quite what I bought, but they're beautiful, aren't they? Very vibrant colours, definitely. Gorgeous, yeah. And then this is another new one. These are bellies. And I thought they were annuals, but I've been corrected and I've been told that they're perennials. So they'll come back each year. And this I have shaped, but it looks like it needs doing again. What's in there? Calla lilies, I think. And a few geraniums. And last year's geraniums. Mm. And there you have it. That's the garden up to date. The Calamatis won't be long before it flowers. Look at all the... Can you see all the buds on there? The top? Mm. I spent a fortune on these trellis last year, so it's, it's good we've got something chasing up them there. And a lot of time um, painting them. So I may have to move a few hostas because there are more coming up than I realised we had. <laughs> but there's a great big gap here. Now, I thought there was a hosta there. There probably is. Who knows? I don't but know. that will certainly bush out again like it did last time. Yeah, I hope it does because it was so pretty. Now, it's just occurred to me we've never done the front. Is there anything out the front worth looking no, at? No, there's only a couple of pots All that right. have got the hebes in. No. Maybe we do that at a later date then. Yeah. It's not much out of the front, it's no, mainly it's gravel and cars. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it really, but I am tempted to put a hosta there. <sighs> Looks like we're going to a garden centre. No, I don't need to buy one, <laughs> we've got enough. <laughs> There's one in that pot there, that could go there I suppose. Mm. Yeah, there that's it then. That's it, yeah. Right. So, that's the garden. What are we? Halfway through April, aren't we? Yeah. So, yeah. Still need a lot of colour, but we're getting there. Okay, so that's it for this time. Bye. Well, this isn't gardening. This is resting. <laughs> I think we get the garden done by resting. What needs doing? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs>